All right, Mr. Teleferro TV, how's everybody doing out there? Listen, man, we got to hold people accountable. You know, there is a lot of responsibility for being one of the biggest artists in the world. You don't get a you, you don't get a pass just because you're at the top of your sport, at the top of your genre. You don't get a pass. You have responsibilities. You charge big time prices. You fill out these arenas slash stadiums for some people. Yo, you got to be able to uphold that standard. Drizzy Drake's no different. People say I show favoritism to Drake. Well, this won't be a favoritism video to Drake. Drake had two shows in Miami canceled a couple of days ago, right? Now, if you don't remember, to start this tour that Drake's on, by the way, it, I heard it's been a pretty dope tour thus far. Migos and um, Aubrey are on tour together. They've been lighting up city to city. Now, if you don't remember, to start the tour, Drake had to cancel the first two dates. It was one in Utah and one in Kansas City. And they said it was production issues. I thought it was BS then. I kept it to myself. So a couple days ago, Drake and his team announced that they would be canceling the Miami dates due to production issues. As a matter of fact, they said it was the same production issues that happened to start the tour in Utah and Kansas City. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking, I know that's bullshit, right? I know it's bullshit. What would go wrong in a tour that's already been underway for a month or so? What production issue would that you, which you have? At this point, everybody's in their groove, setting up the same set night in, night out. How would you have a production issue a month and a half in on a tour? Here's my theory, right? Because Drake's team, I mean, immediately they said, yo, Miami dates were are canceled. There are production issues. And in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, y'all trying to cover up some shit. If Drake is sick, then Drake is sick. Ain't nothing wrong with that. If the man is sick, say we got to cancel it. Drake is sick. He can't perform. In my mind, I believe they're covering up something for Drake. I don't know what it is. But something tells me that I'm on to something, right? I'm not just coming out of the wheel works with this. Drake actually came out and made a statement on his Instagram that went against the statement that his team had made. Again, his team came out and said, we got production issues. Drake was like, nah, let's, let's tell the truth. There are no production issues. Let's stop blaming people who got a job to do, right? Let's not blame the crew that we hired. Let's not blame them. Let's not blame the venues in Miami. Let's not blame American Airlines. Drake said, I just want to say how sorry I am about these two Miami shows. I got so ill so fast and I had never experienced anything like that in my life. Unlike other show cancellations or date adjustments due to production issues, this one fell on me and I just want to apologize because I hate letting down anyone who comes to share these moments with us. Thank you to the two doctors and nurse that helped me round the clock care miami deserves 100 percent, and i promise that experience when we return thank you god for allowing me to recover and continue on we go hopefully he feels better that sounded pretty serious and, and, they, and they're gonna make these dates up by the way they're gonna make these dates up at the end uh well middle slash end of november right november 13th and november 14th so anybody who's got a miami ticket you could either get a refund or keep that date right so salute to drake for coming out and telling the truth say you was sick his team tried to cover up this is what happens to a lot of artists right you got these big time labels you got these big time teams and management groups they come around and lie for these artists and something tells me i don't know what the hell drake had going on but something tells me it's something that they didn't want to get out to the public whatever he was sick of or whatever the hell was going on it was something they didn't want to get out to the public if the man was just sick i don't think anybody in that miami arena would have would have held it against drake if he said yo i can't y'all y'all wouldn't be able to hear me on stage i got a stomach virus my throat's messed up you know what i mean it tells me he probably was sick with something that they wouldn't want out in the public that's just my opinion i don't have any fact behind that but to cover up for this man i don't know maybe the dude had some bad alcohol, had a bad drug or two. I have no clue. But his team tried to cover it up, and Drake did the right thing. He at least came out and made a statement and was like, nah, we ain't gonna even, let's not roll with this lie. Let's not do innocent people like that and say that it was on them. Nah, I, this is my fault. It's on me. I'm the big I'm the big homie. This is my tour. This, nah, I, I'm putting people in jeopardy. The Migos, obviously they were ready to go on the tour. 
We got to cancel because of me. Again, and Drake's human. Obviously, he's going night to night on that. People out there for Drake. Salute to the Migos, but people out there for Drake. He's got a lot of responsibility. I'm not mad at him for getting sick or whatever the hell happened. But this this notion that they people, these management groups, labels want to treat the fans like idiots. They want to treat us like we're stupid and lie to us consistently. All they do is lie to us, right? Nah, that's BS. We got to call that out. Thank y'all for the time. Love this, but I don't take it for granted. So Drake tells the truth. And he goes against what his group tried to put out, what OVO tried to put out, what his management tried to put out. They were trying to say, yo, Drake canceled his two Miami days because production issues were in the way of the show. Nah, that was not the case. Drake told the truth. He was sick. And for them to try to cover up this sickness, I want to believe something probably, I'm just being honest. Something probably was going on that they didn't want to get out in the public about Drake. Just the truth to the matter. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. I do not take it for granted. Salute. In Miami, y'all gonna get y'all dates November 13th and 14th. Amen. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids that who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.